Okay, we're recording. So, let's see. We're at Greg's dump, and this is me, SJ Brian, or Brian. Hopefully you can see. This is Greg, this is his hole that he's digging. And this is how, this is how Greg does does what he does. Greg is taking a plastic tub from Home Depot and he drilled some holes in the bottom. Just like that. And then, gets a couple of shovelfuls, sticks it in the, <laughs> sticks it in the sifter. This isn't easy work. That's why not everybody's out here doing this. But if you're persistent, like this hole that Greg's standing in, this 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 was ground level, just like like that right there. And we've been here since uh, 7:30, and it's uh, we just found a toothbrush. We've been here since seven. We've been here for about four and a half hours now. And Greg has a cup full of jewelry. Maybe he's got something in there. Let me go over here. Oh man, Greg. Greg got the women's jewelry drawer here. Got a brooch. Got a little enamel, like religious metal or something like that. Got this, this big cool pin with like some fake stones in it. Maybe real stones, I don't know. Big prize for him is he got this, uh, this silver ring, some kind of stone in there. You got a tax token. You got a bunch of stuff. You got some earrings. You got a, a miniature. Oh no, this is a a, a rifle casing. You got a rifle casing. You got some earrings. You got one marble. You got a heart. Look at that. You got a heart. And uh, you got all the jewelry. I, I can't believe <laughs> it. Pretty good day. Enjoy. And what did I get? I got... <laughs> Greg was in the, the, the jewelry area. And what did I get? I got the kids section. I got 10 marbles. <coughs> piece of a toy gun, which I'll probably throw away. <coughs> Dusty out of here. This is like a knife handle. Like a butter knife handle. It might be silver. It's really heavy, so it probably has lead in it. I got, what did I get, one, two, three, four, five of these gigantic uh, shotgun shells that's made out of metal. They don't make those anymore, at least not out of metal. I got uh, the dreaded play coins, which I can't stand, but today I got two of them. And coins are like very scarce out here. Oops, I got a wheat scent. I don't know what it is. These are uh, lipstick cases. I got a couple of, I got three of those. And this was ammunition day. I got this gigantic, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, M14, I'm hoping. M14 bullet casing with the holes drilled in it. I guess someone was wearing that. I got a bulldog. And uh, every time I come out here, it seems like I always get some kind of horseshoe related item. So it's a horse with the horseshoe on it. What we usually do is we rub the horseshoe on our rake and shovel, and it always seems to bring us luck. I know it sounds funny. This is a uh, a, uh, a salt or pepper shaker. It looks like it's made in Canada. And then we find a lot of these cold cream jars, and uh, you, sometimes they'll have a lid on them. And uh, what I'll do is I'll twist the lid off to see if there's anything in it. And usually there isn't, but today, this thing didn't have a lid on it, but it had a bunch of old razors on top of it. And now I can't get it out. But on the inside, there's a silver thing that says mother. And it has like an anchor on it. So Greg thinks it might be related to a navy or something. So anytime you find a container, make sure you break it open. So this is the hole where I was digging at. And it was really unproductive. So... 
Let's go through the grass and the trees. And we're gonna go to where I was digging at. And I plan on going back here again when I'm done filming this. Uh, a lot of broken Coke bottles in here. I'm looking for a vintage Dr. Pepper. That would be awesome. So here's my pile. Hard to see with this little tiny screen. And it's just dirt. And what I do is I use a I use a rake, which I don't have on in hand right now. And I just slowly rake, but I but I want to make that thing that Greg has. Because he seems to be pulling up, you know. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't know if it makes any difference. I do fairly well with just raking and uh, raking slowly and just looking through all the stuff. We wear dust masks and gloves, and uh, I wear steel toe shoes uh, with a thick sole so that the glass doesn't, you know, puncture and puncture my shoe and get into my feet. Um, and it's real hot right now, probably about 82 degrees. So. This is a perfect spot. I'm out of the, out of the direct sun and we're drinking a lot of water. Uh, about a month and a half or two months ago, I got uh, heat, heat stroke or heat illness out here. And I had to go to the hospital where the paramedics had to come. So you really gotta be careful. It's best to do this with a, with, with a friend or, or some other people. Uh, if you're gonna do it by yourself, at least come out, you know, uh, do it in the morning time and it's cool and bring lots of water, and, you know, and a cell phone and all that. Cause, you don't want to go through what I went through. Uh, but when you're not feeling sick, it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm gonna record, hopefully I'm gonna record this every single time we come out so we can document all uh, the weird stuff that, that we find. And uh, maybe next time we'll go to the, uh, the 1890s dump uh, where we found some really cool stuff at. Uh, Greg has never been there, so I'm sure he'll enjoy that. So let's just pan so you can see everything. There's a there's a creek over there. It's a nice creek, nice flowing water. It really sounds nice. These are uh, elderberry trees. I'm digging underneath an old rotten uh, black walnut tree. And we're miles away from home. And uh, the neat thing is we've been coming out here for months and nobody seems to know about this, which is great. All right, we're gonna go back to Greg. This is me again. And then that's gonna be it. And we'll see you next time on Digging Adventures with Brian and Greg. <laughs> I love it, Brian. And maybe Al or Bruce or Warren, uh, but they're not here today. All right, bye.